our belief number two is that my belief that it was different for me. Now, any franchisor in this room, I, I dare you to tell me that you have not had a franchisee come up to you at some stage in your career and say, yeah, but you don't get it. It's different for me in my area. <laughs> that marketing plan is not going to work. I guarantee you it won't work because my customers are different. They're taller in my area. <laughs> hey? Now we laugh at that, but I'm going to challenge each and every one of you. How many of you have sat in a room like this with your peers, with the smart guys, and not absorbed the information from the conversation you're having because of your belief that it's different for you in your category? Not serious. I'm going to put it on you because we'll laugh at our franchisees and we want to stab them with a pen when they come and tell us that. But really, how often do you open up sufficiently with your peers beside you and share with the belief that it's not different for you, that you are actually absorbing the information and not discarding it as you are hearing it? Now, this is a challenge for many of us. For me, for a decade, I'd listen to conferences, I'd listen to tapes, watch videos, and the whole time I'm going, yeah, it's different for me in my area. I'm not sure it's going to work in my companies. Believe this, the smart guys are never on stage. They, <laughs> I guarantee you. <laughs> They are never on stage. They're never on stage. The smart guys are the guys sitting beside you. I want you to do this for me right now, just to acknowledge that mentally. I want you to turn to the person beside you and say, G'day, I've heard you're the smartest person in the room. <laughs> Go. Come on. Good game for fast game. <laughs>